Okay, I thought maybe they have a... Uh, <laughs>
I'm not asking. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Prof, okay. Prof is the patron of the criminal school. <laughs> <laughs> so just from it. Ah, yeah, Uh, well, I'm here to show solidarity to a fellow criminal like me <laughs> and to identify with his struggle and all that he believes and stands for. Uh, it is incumbent on all Nigerians who want a better life, a prosperous and free country, to identify with those who are vanguards of that struggle. So I am here to identify with him and also to solidarize with him. Unfortunately, uh, 20 years, two decades since the return of democracy in Nigeria, we are still not very far away from where we come from. And in 1999, we thought uh, violations of fundamental human rights and intolerance to free speech could have been history. But this is where we find ourselves. It's unthinkable that two decades since the return of democracy, people will be arrested and persecuted for their views. And also, frame up has also become uh, the instrument to which the state can use against individuals who are critical of it. So I. As for the state of human rights in Nigeria, you can see what you can see. And we are not even talking about human rights, but we are talking about how people can live with their lives. People are being abducted and killed every day. Just yesterday, a seminarian, uh, Michael Nadi, was buried in Kaduna. Uh, two days after, before that, over 30 people were massacred in, uh, in Auno, in Borno State. And there seems no sympathy, no tears from those who are in the position of power. Uh, so democracy is not simply having an elected government, but also having a government that cares, uh, cutters, and is concerned about the interests of its own people. What is happening in Abuja today is unfortunate that it has not happened under Obasanjo, it has not happened under Eradua, it has not also happened under Jonathan Gundok, and it is happening under a man that once championed the cause for freedom, for good governance, the man and people who were once on the street fighting for freedom for our country. It's unfortunate, but we are here to identify with that struggle, and we believe that uh, at the end of the day we shall triumph. Uh, what we should not forget is that power is transient. Uh, those who are in the position of authority today, uh, thinking that they will be there forever, it's not going to happen. So, uh, rule of law is their guarantee when they are out of power and they should respect it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.
Good morning, you're welcome to the live coverage of the trial between rights activists Omoya Lushura and the Federal Republic of uh, versus the Federal Republic of Niger happening at the Federal High Court in Abuja. You're witnessing live scenes from the courtroom where Justice Ijeoma Ojuku is expected to preside any moment from now. She has sent apologies and is running late. But uh, while we wait for that to happen, there are people who are here who are showing solidarity with who are showing solidarity with uh, Shure. We have uh, Professor Walisha Inka, Nobel laureate, human rights activist, and also vocal critic of the uh, Muhammad Buhari administration. He's here in solidarity. We have lawyers in attendance. We have people. The court is filled to the brim. There are people who are here to show solidarity. We also have uh, Senator Shiu signing peace. Currently, Antaku um, his ordeal with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on allegations of extortions. He is also here to show solidarity today. When this uh, judge right is all doesn't As you can see, um the court is packed to the brim. There are people everywhere. There are people everywhere and uh, people just here to show solidarity. And we're hoping that uh, we see Justice Ijeoma any moment from now emerge. Emerge to comment. This is the dock where any moment from now, Shure and his co-defendant Bakari will be um, taking the seat as their trial commences. He's been uh, accused of treasonable felony. 
is also alleged to have insulted the president, charges of which he has pled not guilty to. If you've just joined us, you're live from, uh, we're reaching you live from Abuja. This is Sahara TV's coverage of the trial between rights activists on Maya Lushura and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is accused by the Nigerian government of seven count charges, including treasonable felony. We have rights activists, politicians. People generally come in to show solidarity in court this morning.
Us not to be interested <laughs> in observing the proceedings. So, so, what are your thoughts about the human rights situation in the country and also security? Do I need to be thinking about it? Is that not why we're here? No, we're here. If the human rights situation in the country were what it should be, we are not going to be. We will not have been here. That's all we've got to say. I, I don't need to think about it. All of us are living it, aren't we? And everybody is discussing Bishop Kuka's homily from yesterday, right? That's it. Do you, do you agree with his position that Nigeria is not worth dying for? I don't need to agree with his position. The, <laughs> the important thing is that that position does exist and was delivered from the pulpit. It's not up to me. Now, it's up to the political leaders to listen to what he said rather than send people like Garbashe and Femi Adeshin after him and all those their paid trolls on Twitter. I think it's up to the political leaders to listen to him and work hard to create a country that people would wish to die for. That means making Nigeria a patrimony for everybody who lives in it, not for some people, not for a few people, but for everybody. And yes, and, and I'm also in solidarity with my comrades. My I don't need to view the proceedings, that's what I'm here to do. I don't need to take a view on the proceedings. We are here to observe the proceedings. Okay, so what is your take on our rule of law in the country? I don't need to advise the government, you know what? The Vice President is a senior advocate of Nigeria. Attorney General is a senior advocate of Nigeria. 
the junior minister for labor is the senior advocate of Nigeria. The uh, minister for public works is the senior advocate of Nigeria. I still need to advise that. The SGF, by the way, is a lawyer too. The number of lawyers in government is too much. I'm not even talking about the ones who also have lawyers who are married to lawyers. So I don't need to advise them. They know what to do. If they wish not to do it, it is their choice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Saying that I write in the tangled name. Chase us through the car. You know, we're trying to get away from the new. We're trying to get away from the new tracks. Chase us to the car. You know, I'm taking your phone at you. No, please put it in the box. I'll wear it at home. Enough is enough. Yeah, 
Ravi.
this is over. Madam, I hope we're not. Who asked for it? We will now pause for a bit, but we'll continue to bring you live updates. Uh, stay glued to SahariaReporters.com for all your live coverage of the trial between the federal government of Nigerian rights activist Omoye Li Shure. We'll bring you breaking news, we'll bring you live commentary. <laughs> and, 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 and,